broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round you can't find out my name is erica ramirez i'm 16 and i come from the muckleshoot indian tribe i've been in foster care since i was two years old my sisters and i didn't have much growing up i was removed from my biological mother's care due to drug and alcohol abuse as well as being left alone multiple times, whether it be a trailer or a van, we had to fend for ourselves. From 2004 to 2013, more siblings of mine were born, two brothers and two sisters. I also have two other siblings that I don't know about because they were sold for drugs. They're drug affected and they have learning disabilities and sensory issues to this day. As a foster child, I've experienced emotions. I don't feel like I belong. I felt unwanted and embarrassed. I want to let other Native youth know that you are wanted, you do matter, you're worthy so much more than the pain you're going through. The way I cope is with humor. Seeing others happy and making them laugh mirrors their actions. It's a contagious thing. By having a good time, you can set aside those negative thoughts and be truly happy living in the moment. It's one of my favorite things to do. Just do what makes you happy. I don't want future Native children to go through what I've gone through. I've been lucky to come out of this a better person. Not everyone is as lucky and often turns to self-harm. To prevent this, I would like more centers for pregnant women who are at risk for drug addiction. All of this is preventable, but the people don't know about the issue. In a three month period, 18 babies were born and 15 of them were drug affected. This is the sad story of my community. Let your children know they are wanted and they are loved. I want you to make a difference in native children's lives.